is, I think, the strongest influence on our taste. You know, we've got our gender, our age, our race, our religion, all these things affect our taste. But more than anything else, I think, it's about class because a lot of the choices we make in what we wear, what we do, what we eat, what we drive, where we live, these are all giving off signals about who we want to be, who we want to belong with, who is our tribe. This series is called The Vanity of Small Differences because of Freud. And Freud had this phrase called the narcissism of small differences because he'd noticed that when people want to individuate themselves, the people they hated or the, the people that they most wanted to separate themselves from were the people that were almost the same as them. So it's like your next door neighbor is like the person you least want to be like. And so that idea of being an individual is very crux to the middle class. They're the people who really care about taste the most because they're looking both ways. And they're wondering, am I going up? Am I going down? Where am I? I'm floating in this miasmering middle ground. This tapestry was very much based on one woman called Amanda Vokes. She, she had a really good eye and she had a lovely house full of really nice vintage stuff. <laughs> Kath Kidson is the kind of patron saint of kind of faux vintage because you know, to have real vintage, it means you have had to put in all the effort and go to Oxfam and sort out the stuff yourself. But she kind of does it for you, so you don't actually have to bother. Everybody likes to think they have eclectic taste, you know, but you go around, they've all got a Union Jack cushion. And then there's the Arga, which is like the altar of the upper middle classes. You know, they, of course, it's a great gas guzzling thing, but it, it gives off the essence of the unrestored farmhouse, you know, which is what they want. So they're feeling and because it's all that feeling of all the taste choices are meant to sort of give off this idea that I have individually chosen them and my personality is stamped on every choice but of course if you go round a lot of upper middle class people's houses you will find pretty much the exact same stuff. It's been great. I mean, uh, lots of people come up to me and congratulate me on the on the piece. So it's always nice to get you know positive feedback. Um, yeah, some people are really kind of amazed by it, and um, and also it's been fantastic to hear Grace and Perry talking tonight about his work. The chandelier um, just draws you into this building. Um, whoever works here is going to be uh, very very lucky in that it's almost like curating a an art gallery rather than the reception of, of an office. And meanwhile, um, Grayson's tapestry is just so, so vibrant that it offsets the, um, the peaceful whiteness of this space, um, which is something really, really exciting and really surprising. I mean, we're sort of walking past this site for such a long time and to actually see it open and, 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 and fantastic art, brilliant. I, I, I want to spend a lot more time around here. The way it moves is uh, very organic because it sort of moves just from the from the air around it and uh, yeah it's a lovely piece and everyone can appreciate it from out, outside as well as inside which is good.